Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and this is your quick word for today. God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You are not going to suffer lack. Lack is not a word that should be in your faith vocabulary because God will supply. God is faithful and just. Listen, in Luke chapter 11, verse 5, Jesus is talking. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine is in his journey, has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. And I say unto you, Though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he, is need, as he needeth. Now, importunity means this. Come on, come on. Look, uh, please, please let me uh, get some bread. Please, knock, 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 knock. Constant asking, begging, pleading with persistence. Never, I mean, a relentless pursuit of your need being met. Some of us don't relentlessly pursue God to meet our needs. We'll say a little quick prayer and then we're off to the races. Business as usual. Hmm. Some prayers don't get answered for that reason. Some prayers you have to battle through an atmosphere of resistance because when you pray to God, you're resisting the devil. You're resisting all the workings of the devil, all the obstacles, all the hurdles, all the roadblocks and hindrances. And there are demons out there fighting against your prayers. So you have to fight that much harder to get your prayer through. You ever try to hammer a nail in a wall where there's a, a, a solid piece behind it and you're hammering, you got to hammer hard and long to get that thing to penetrate some of that wood. Some of those things, those blocks of wood are really thick and strong. They almost feel impenetrable, but you got to really give it all you got to get that nail to penetrate, especially if it's a big one. Well, listen, that's how you got to hammer at your prayers. When you need something from God. You got to pursue him, shut down and get down and dirty in your prayer. But you got to pursue. See, we think that God has turned a deaf ear. But this is what God says. If your son, excuse me, ask for bread, would you give him a stone? Mm -mm. So, if you, being a, a father, human father, you know how a sinful man, you know how to sin, but you're a man and you're a father, I'm paraphrasing. You know how to give good things to your children. How much more will your heavenly father give good things to you, O ye of little faith? So whatever you do, you pursue you pursue God in prayer. Don't give up because it's tough. What did the man in Shawshank Redemption do? He spent 20 years busting through a wall to get his freedom because he was doing time for a crime he did not commit. And he had to be patient through beatings, through rapes, through all kind of pain that he had to endure. But he got free, didn't he? Yeah. Bit by bit, rock by rock, pebble by pebble, chip by chip, hammering his way through. And that's what you have to do. You got to 
hammer your way through this prayer till you get the answer. That's right. God said it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Everything at the kingdom's disposal is at your disposal. You have not because you ask not. And some of you ask and have not because you ask amiss with the wrong motive, the wrong intention. Is it God's will, number one? Or is it just your flesh's will? So be careful when you pray to God for things. Don't get upset because he's not answering right away. You either have to battle your way through like a like a, a bat, uh, what is it called? A, a, a battling ram, or I'm using the wrong word, but anyway, you have to punch your way through some things. You have to bind and rebuke some demons to get them out your way. Get them out from between you and your answer. But and in some cases, you have to fast and pray. But whatever you do, don't blame God for an unanswered prayer. Sometimes the prayer is not, that is not answered. Sometimes the answer is not now. Later, you're not ready. Or it is no. This is not for you. Not in my purpose for your life. So trust God. Trust his judgment. Trust what he does in your life and trust what he doesn't do in your life. It's all for your good either way. Okay? All right. That's a quickie. I hope it blesses your soul. God bless you.